Thank you for coming to support the Bodnario family of Norway. My name is Daniel Kuzmanov. I am speaking on behalf of the supporters of the Norwegian families, in particular the Bodnario family, as they have been silenced by the Barna Verne. We have all come together to appeal to the Government of Norway to step in and make a decision to reunite the Bodnario family. Firstly, I would like to thank the Norwegian judge for making the decision that eight-month-old Ezekiel Bodnario was to be returned to his parents, Marius and Ruth Bodnario. He is now safe and back home where he belongs. Thank you. On the 16th of last November, the Child Protective Services of Norway, which is called the Barna Verne, removed from, the school, from their school nine-year-old Eliana and seven-year-old Naomi Bodnario without the consent or knowledge of their parents. Their parents, Marius and Ruth Bodnario, have not seen them since and have been refused any access to speak with or see them. Later that same day, the police arrived at their home and removed two of their three sons, five-year-old Matthew and two-year-old John. Then Ruth Bodnario was arrested and taken to the police station with then three-month-old Ezekiel Bodnario. They accused Ruth Bodnario of being dangerous. The very next day, the police returned and removed their three-month-old son, Ezekiel. The parents were granted access to see their sons twice a week for two hours under the supervision of social workers. The return of Eliana, Naomi, Matthew and John to their parents, Ruth and Marius Bodnario, is what must happen. We appeal to the Norwegian government and the Barna Verne to please return them to the safety of their parents' loving care where they belong. We are protesting the actions of the Barna Verne, who are an unregulated body that operate in total secrecy with no scrutiny. The Bodnario family have been accused of radical Christianity. Most societies of the world are based on Christianity and freedom of religion. The only radical irrational behaviour here are the actions of the Barna Verne. We have a history of children being forcibly removed from their parents here in Australia with our own stolen generation. Children were being removed from their families as early as 1880. The Aboriginal Protection Act of 1909 made it legal for the Aborigines Protection Board to legally remove children from their families. The 1915 amendment to the Act gave the Board authority to remove children from their families without a court order. This was the official Australian government policy until 1969. The Prime Minister said in his apology that between 1910 and 1970, up to 50,000 children were wrongly removed. These actions caused all kinds of trauma and damage. An inquiry by the Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission in regards to the stolen generation found that they are more likely to come to the attention of police as they grow into adolescence. They are more likely to suffer low self-esteem, depression and mental illness. They are more vulnerable to physical, emotional and sexual abuse. They had been almost always taught to reject Aboriginality and Aboriginal culture. They cannot take a role in the cultural and spiritual life of their former communities. As of Wednesday the 13th of April, it was announced that 27% of Australia's prison population is made up of Aboriginal people. This is an appalling statistic and is undeniable evidence that removing children from their families is a terrible mistake. The Barna Verne of Norway should take notice of this and immediately stop removing children from their families. There must be an independent investigation on the activities of the Barna Verne. The excuse of, we are enforcing the law, is not good enough and an insult to anybody's intelligence. There is no excuse for a breach of basic human rights. The thought of forced assimilation and superiority is abhorrent and immoral. We must not allow old mistakes to be repeated again. We all hope that coming together like this today will make a difference and that members of Norway's government will hear the people and make the necessary changes for the protection of the most vulnerable members of our community, the children. There are protests happening all over the world. We feel deep sorrow for all the children which have been removed from their families by the Barna Verne. 
We hope that all wrongly removed children will be reunited with their families. The action taken by the Barna Verne is a serious mistake and the repercussions will be felt for many years into the future. The trauma they are inflicting on the Bodnario family will not only be devastating to the Bodnario family, but also to the future of Norway. We are pleading to the government of Norway and the Barna Verne to please return Eliana, Naomi, Matthew and John Bodnario to the loving care and safety of their parents, Ruth and Marius Bodnario. It is proved by the Official Statistics Bureau of Norway that of all forced removal of children, only 10% are due to drug abuse, neglect, physical violence or other abuses. Why then are the other 90% forcibly removed from their families? The Child Welfare Act of Norway allows a municipality to determine who supervises the children placed in foster care. There will never be enough qualified people for those positions. The Barna Verne may decide, based on psychology and theories, whether or not a child may suffer neglect or abuse in the future. Their decisions are based on possible future circumstances of the child. They are forcibly removing children from their families based on speculation of something that might happen in the future. How can anybody prove that a prediction about the future is wrong? Simple, you cannot. We plead to the government of Norway and the Barna Verne to please return Eliana, Naomi, Matthew and John Bodnariu to the loving care of their sa and safety of their parents, Ruth and Marius Bodnariu. To Norway, unite the Bodnariu family. Thank you very much for your attention. Good afternoon.